we finally made it to Dallas. This is my first dinner. It's with my son, my sister, and her husband. Ended up at the YMCA for a big birthday party and got to meet uh, the wife of my nephew and hang out with my brother. He looks kind of like me, but thinner. My son and I hung out a fair amount. Uh, went to a few movies together, went out to eat a bunch, and here I'm teaching them how to pose like Filipinos. Got to meet my grandkids. That was an awesome thing. And uh, we had a huge dinner, and nobody took a single picture because, well, we're like that. And I'm also teaching her to pose like the Filipinos. And she also runs her own store. She opens the pantry and she tells you exactly what you want to buy. She's definitely in charge. If you sit still too long, they will pile toys all over you. After we left her Sorry Sorry store, we ended up at the wet market. I mean, the Dallas Farmer's Market. And my son-in-law didn't know if he was supposed to be in the picture or not, so he's trying to figure it out. That was kind of funny. So we're at the market, looking around, trying to pick out a small pumpkin for the kid. The small pumpkins are a dollar, and it was really difficult for her to find the exact one she wanted. But she did finally find it. The little ones are so over it was all good. The trip really was a lot of fun. Getting to hang out with my daughter and her children, my grandkids. I got to meet them finally. That was a cool part of the trip. Uh, they are young, so they're a little rambunctious sometimes and a little messy. But that's part of the fun of having grandkids. You can give them back to their parents anytime you want. Not sure what we're doing with that. Some of the larger ones were better for jack-o'-lanterns. We did not carve this jack-o'-lantern, but uh, it was on display. The farmer's market is pretty cool, but as I said, it's more of a craft fair than a farmer's market. It used to be more guys selling produce out of the back of their trucks. Now, it comes in the same boxes as in the grocery store. The main truck facility for all the produce companies is next door. So it's not really a farmer's market necessarily. But they've cleaned it up a lot. They've added in a bunch of artwork, craft booths. It's, it's more of an art fest than a farmer's market. But it is more popular than it used to be. So I guess it's not really a bad thing. They've done a lot of work lately decorating it. So we had to get lots of pictures on the wall. Here's a couple of them. There are many, many more. But uh, a lot of fun paintings, good artwork. It used to be more you know, farmers and pickups. Now it's dinosaurs and baklava. There's the vendor booths, there's the food court. They've done a lot to fix it up and it's gotten more popular, but it's not really a farmer's market anymore. But it's fun and they have good roasted corn, something I really miss. This huge food court used to be part of the vendor shops, so it really has changed a lot. Uh, good food in here though, so it's not a bad thing, and it is actually, I think, more popular than it used to be. So I guess it works out. Times change, that's all. And here's this fun guy here, the little Greek place. This guy, he's... Uh, way too happy to be there he's almost like a saturday night live skit this dude's just real friendly way out there really fun and uh, of course if you need to get some sexy baklava this is the place dallas farmers market fun was had by all enjoy your day in paradise <laughs>